Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay, um, good evening, Ms. Campos, uh, Mr. Ramirez. Welcome to this video conference. We're going to be attending this night. Teacher. Good evening, Miss. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I have okay. a problem with a platform, ex platform exercise. Really? Uh, well, we can discuss it right now. We have time to do it. So if you let me know. Uh, but after, no, after. After, you want after I, I'm sorry? You mean after the class? Or Excuse me? You mean after this after class? After class. Oh, okay, very good. After this class is okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, well. Uh, oh my God. It's raining here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's raining there uh, in your houses. Or maybe it's just no. happening here. No. <laughs> so here is raining. No. Here is raining. And, and sometimes that's a. So I have low connection when it's raining. I don't know why it's raining. It's supposed that it's summer. <laughs> yes, but is that but is the sky is very dark? Cloudy. Cloudy. Yeah, I saw that the whole day. Uh, I saw that. In the, in the I afternoon. didn't expect. Maybe maybe uh -huh. uh, yes. I expect just wind or, or wind that maybe they, they, they could be uh, the weather kind of windy, but no rainy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, welcome, Mr. Castillo. Good evening, sir. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you, sir? Uh, fine. Um, a little, <laughs> uh, little good, good, nice. Is uh, and 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 this moment uh, to start uh, and the review the the information. Um, Mm -hmm. Because my family near, uh, they uh, are watching Grey's Anatomy, the, the series on Netflix. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's a little distraction for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's happened to me when, when I'm taking some, well, I'm taking um, some courses uh, online, but I also, I'm distracted. I used to have my, my, my TV in front of me. And uh, sometimes someone's um, they just turn on the TV and they start watching uh, Netflix and then I, I get distracted. So that's that's a little bit harder because we're working uh, at home. If, if we work in, in classroom, that could be uh, a little bit different. Uh, we can be like more focused on, on topic that we're working, but it it has advantage and disadvantage working uh, at home and also uh, well attending courses at home. Uh, so, but we have to take the the the, the best from it. 
Yes, it's a good moment in the family. Similar yeah. with you, with the, the share, the share, the, the, the little moments mm -hmm. is in the um, to to have the the, the free time and, mm -hmm. and to come back with the job, with the day yes. uh, to spend it in in this moment all all the all the work in the university or at the college in my job, etc. But and to share. Uh, time and, with them. And the, and yes, that, that's something. The time, the time family. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's something really important uh, in family. Is share time with. Well, I don't know if you have uh, uh, you have uh, siblings. Yeah. You said you have a son, right? Uh, yes, uh, two sons and, and my baby is a girl. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> okay. 14 uh, okay. years, uh, Daniela and Rodrigo have the 17 in the university, 19 years. 19 years Oh, they, they are teenage, teenagers, okay? Yes, yes okay. are teenagers, yes. Okay, very good, excellent. Well, uh, guys, we're going to start right now. We wait just uh, 10 minutes. Uh, so it's supposed that if someone is going to join to this video conference, it, it, they have to be here or he or she has to be here. Um, I will share to you the PowerPoint presentation that I have prepared for you. Just give me a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, here I am. Uh, let me know if you can uh, see the PowerPoint presentation because I'm going to share it right now. Uh, can you see that? Yes. Yes, I can. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, well, um, <clears throat> tonight we're going to be working uh, on a new topic that it has a well, the name is uh, would rather and would prefer. And here we have the objective of this class. And it says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to express choices using would rather or would prefer. Uh, that's the end of, of this class. That's what we're going to do. And let's start with it. Uh, let's see, this is the topic, would rather and would prefer. Um, we're going to start with the first one that it says would rather, okay, would rather. Um, and it says the, the information that I, I uh, had for you, it says when a person himself expresses a preference on something referring to the present or future, we're going to use would rather, okay? And what is the formula? Okay, the formula to create a sentence um, it's select a subject, okay? It could be a noun or it could be a pronoun. We are going to add would rather, or we can uh, make that sentence shorter. We can say rather, okay? Plus the base form of bear, okay? Let's, let's see uh, an example of it. I would rather stay at home than go out right now, okay? Then go out right now. If not, it's there. Um, when we use would rather, okay? When we use would rather, eh, we, um, we can eh, provide someone or tell someone that we prefer some things, okay? We have one preference, um, uh, about something in specific, and this refers to a present or future. In this case, I would rather stay at home. A stay at home is the preference, okay? It's what you like, that it could be going that way, okay? What you like, I would rather stay at home, okay? Or we can say, I would rather play the guitar than play piano, okay? We identify with this sentence 
the preference of it. Is it clear what I'm saying? Is it clear? Uh, well, in, the, in this case, okay, very good. In this case, uh, we always uh, have to add two uh, different things, one's comparing the other, uh, or once uh, uh, we're going to, to use it like expressing something that we like, and we're going to use something that we don't like, or comparing with the other thing. Um, in this case, uh, if you see in this example here, uh, we're going to create a sentence, okay? We're going to create a sentence about using wood rather, and uh, we're going to um, add a verb and make that a uh, comparisons. And uh, we're going to use Dan, okay? Always we're going to use Dan uh, to um, express those things. Like stay at home, Dan, go out right now. Play piano, Dan, play guitar. Uh, well, watch TV, Dan, uh, uh, listen in the radio, okay? Things like that. That's what we are going to do. Or could be, I would rather uh, read newspaper than magazine or uh, vice versa, okay? I would rather uh, read magazine than uh, newspapers. Is it clear how we, how we can construct a sentence using would rather? Could, could uh, you say the rather is possible or similar and uh, will prefer or will prefer yeah. that? Yes. What we're going to do is uh, when we use would rather is because we want to express our preference about something, okay? What we prefer uh, in uh, instead of something, okay? Uh, I, if I say, I would rather stay at home, we can add to than go out right now. So we are expressing a preference, what do we want, what uh, are our likes about something. Uh, is it clear, Mr. Castillo? Okay. Ah, so, okay. Excellent, excellent. I will use the sure. whiteboard. I will use a whiteboard right now. And you're going to construct a sentence. And you're going to tell me uh, what do you prefer. It could be about any topic. It could be about something uh, of your life, but uh, about any topic. It could be work, it could be uh, about your likes, it could be about what your, uh, your, your traveling, things like that. You, you decide. Uh, I will use the whiteboard here. And then I will be uh, putting the old your answer there, and then we are going to be discussing them. Okay. So you have uh, just four minutes, four minutes to work on it, and um, you have to send the sentence to the chat, and I will be copying and paste that information there in the whiteboard. Is it clear the instruction? Yeah. Okay, Teacher. amazing. Tell me, Teacher, sir. Excuse me, I have a question. Sure. Um, you, you, saw, you say uh, we have, um, oh, when, when we use uh, the reader, okay. uh, we have to, um, to use uh, a compare between two things. Exactly. We're, 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 exactly. We have to use but, a, a com okay, come. Uh, sorry, but uh, I saw the one exercise, uh, one example, mm -hmm. and in, in, in that case, and there is not a compare. There is not a, a comparison. Okay, so don't worry, you you don't find that because um, we use it sometimes to emphasize what we prefer about something. Okay, like if I'm asking you something uh, about, okay, mister, uh, can you, uh, okay, would you like to, to go out uh, tonight? Okay, uh, you can answer me by saying, I would like to, uh, well, I would rather stay at home than go out tonight. So in that case, we can use that comparison. 
So if we don't use it, don't worry because we are just expressing our preference. Okay, so um, could be could be good if I say I would rather stay at home. Okay, just that, and it's good. Okay. It's it's well constructed, and also um, a, we are expressing our preference. Okay, thanks. Very good. Well, you had four minutes. That. Um, Time to start counting right now.
<clears throat> okay, yeah, uh, very good. I've, I've been checking, I've been checking on uh, your uh, examples that you are sharing there. Um, and those, those are good examples of it. Um, <clears throat> let me, let me cut and paste uh, one of them. Let me a second, I will move it here. Okay, you send a lot of examples. That's good. Very good. Okay, I, I just paste uh, just them, but I seem that there are uh, many others. But we are going to be uh, just uh, checking these exercises, okay? This sentence, I mean. Uh, number one, it says, I would rather play basketball on Sunday, okay? I would rather play basketball on Sunday. Yes, we have the, the structure there. Uh, let me see, someone sent something to the chat and it says, Sorry, I wasn't in where you were explaining, but I will keep some examples. Okay, very good, Miss uh, Rivas. No worry. Uh, we're just uh, discussing the topic that you have on the platform. Uh, when we use would rather, uh, so we're just focused on it right now, using would rather. Then we're going to see the rest. Um, well, I was checking uh, this exercise and it says, I would rather play basketball on Sunday. Very good. Just something that I had to, well, I'm going to use a, a marker. Sunday, we must use capital letter. It must be Sunday with a big S, but the rest is okay, okay? Um, would you rather drive a truck or a car? Amazing, we're, a, we're in, a, we're asking. This is a question. I would rather drink coffee than drink. Okay, than drink chocolate. Very good. I have a, I have Miss a from, I'm sorry, but I, I cried but the word. Drink chocolate, okay, so don't worry, don't worry. Um, we already yeah, solved it here, okay? Drink coffee, drink chocolate. Uh, let me see the other. I would like. I, I would rather study at night than a date. Okay. Very good. The other one it says, "Would you rather to watch movies or series?" Okay, we're expressing some preference, and then this is a question. We we'll also have to use capital letter. Remember, uh, I would rather read mathematics books than. Dan, we must, we have to use a Dan, Dan, Dan. Must be like this, Dan. Okay, Dan science books. Very good, the, the, those are good examples. So I, I think you managed that. Uh, I think that you already know how to create sentence expressing preference. Very good, that's amazing. Those are good examples of it. Well, I'm going to share to you the uh, PowerPoint presentation, then we're going to continue with the following um, a, a rule about this. It says, when referring to the past, that's another way of using the, uh, of using rather. It says uh, that we, the formula to uh, construct this sentence is like using subject plus would rather plus have plus the past participle form of a verb. And it could be in this way. I would rather have stay, have a say. In this case, uh, we're expressing preference 
but expressing something in the past. So that, that's something what, that we have to keep in mind. Uh, to keep in mind, when we use would rather, we can use it for expressing or for referring uh, something about the past, uh, but we must, we must add the uh, auxiliary verb have, okay? And then we're going to use the past participle. I don't know if it's clear what I'm saying. Is it clear what I'm saying, guys? Hello, are you there? Uh, Ms. Campos, Mr. Castillo, Ms. Rivas. Excuse uh, me? Mr. Ramirez. I don't know if, it's, if it is clear what I'm saying. That I love you, your sign. Tell me. I lost your your. Son. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Uh, maybe get. It could be because it's raining here. I, I told you when it's raining, the the television, the connection is so bad. Uh, well, I will try to explain it again. Um, I was telling you that when we referred. Uh, to the past, or when we in a sentence, when we're uh, writing a sentence referring to the past, we have to add have as an auxiliary verb and also add a past participle form of a verb, of a verb. Okay, so we in, in a sentence, in the, the whole sentence must be constructed using subject plus. Well, I'm going to um, use a market here. Okay, this part, we're going to use the subject plus would rather, okay, or it could be a rather, okay, that's the, the shorter form. We have to use have, this is something important, okay? We must use the auxiliary verb have, and we must add the past participle form of a verb, okay? Uh, in that way, we're going to construct sentence using uh, or expressing something using would rather, but referring to the past, okay? So this by code, this, this part, all this part makes a reference, make a reference uh, to the past, okay? We have to um, remember that. And then another thing using would rather, it says when the person expresses a preference on someone else's actions referring to the present or future, we can use would rather, okay? And how we use it? Well, here we have the formula. It says using subjects plus would rather plus, well, it could be would rather or rather um, plus the object. Uh, and also we must add the past tense. Uh, and here we have a, an example of it. And it says, I would rather uh, you gave up smoking, okay? You gave up smoking. You gave up that uh, phrase. It is called an object, okay? An object, but also we're using the past tense. I would rather you gave up, okay? They gave up. It's the past tense that we are um, using to this sentence. Is it clear? Using uh, the object, what is the object there? You, what is the past tense? Gave, gave up, okay? Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So it, it is easy. We have to just keep in mind uh, the formula, how we construct that. The rest is very easy. Let's see. Excuse me, teacher. Okay, Tom. Can you give me another example of would rather with the object plus the past tense? Okay, um, instead of using uh, you, you can say uh, him or uh, his as an object. And also you must use a past tense. Could be like, a, well, played uh, basketball. I would rather, uh, could be like, I would rather you played basketball. Okay, but play in, in the past tense, okay? No, no present. Uh -huh. 
Is it clear? As a, okay. We're using use yes. as an object. Hello? I the teacher, you, you and in this example, I have a little confused. Is okay. the object in this case, the past tense, you play basketball, you play. What is the object in? in, in the object is you, okay? The, the object is you, okay? okay? I would rather you, okay. that's the, the object. Uh-huh. Okay, the play, the play, and play the, the past tense. Past then. Exactly, yes. Okay. Okay, or well, we can say, I would rather uh, Miss Campos, okay, uh, play uh, soccer, but in, in, in using the object. I would rather Miss Campos, instead of saying you, uh, or instead of saying he, she, we can use like a noun, or uh, I would rather Mr. Ramirez, uh, um, well, visit uh, his family, okay? Visit his family, but it, in, in past. Remember that we have to use the past tense. Is it clear? Okay. Press the future. In the future. So, um, in this case, we have to go back to what we were discussing here uh, in this part. Okay. Uh, when we use would rather, okay, we use would rather. We want to uh, express preference about something. Okay. Um, <clears throat> If we if we construct a sentence uh, in, a, in using future, it will be like I would rather um, uh, work tomorrow. Okay, expressing a a future a particle. Um, I would rather work tomorrow than a, today. So we're expressing a preference about a future. Is it, is it when, we, when we express future, we are, we're going to use uh, like, um, like uh, adverbs of times uh, in, in the sentences. Is it clear, guys? Yes. Okay, very good. So we're going to go to the following using would rather, and it is also a, when we refer to the past. Um, and in this case, we're using the object and also the past perfect. This is um, a, like the, the, the ones that we were discussing here. In this case, we are using past tense. Uh, remember, we can use like you, we can use like he, she, uh, Mr. Campos, Mr. Ramirez as an object, okay? An object of the sentence. Um, and in this case, we're going to do the same, but we're going to be using the, press, the past perfect. How we can construct the past perfect? Okay. Easy, we're going to use had, had in past, and a past participle, uh, um, a past participle verb, okay? So, easy, had, past participle, or it could be a negative sentence, or had, not, past participle, okay? Is it clear? We can use it both. It could be positive sentences, or it could be uh, negative sentences. Is it clear? Is it clear, guys? Do you remember how we can go through? Tell me. It's going to be, I will rather, um, I don't know how to use it, with hadn't. Hadn't? Oh, I wouldn't rather. 
No, we have to use, we have to use, I would rather, remember to use an object, it could be, tell me an object of the sentence. The tree. Uh, must be a, a person. Oh, the it, teacher. It's, it's called object, but it's in, um, in English. I, you, we, you, they, or he, she, it. Yes, and we, are, we can pronouns. pronounce. Yeah, uh, I would rather. Okay. Tell me. I would rather. I would rather. Um, the teacher. Okay, the teacher had. Had. Tell me a verb now. Mm, teach. <laughs> okay. Teach, uh, but in this case, we are going to use the past participle. How would say teach uh, using the past participle uh, verb? Um, <gasps> teach taught. Okay. I don't know. I don't remember. Taught. Okay, taught is okay. I would rather uh, the teacher taught mm -hmm. the lesson. The lesson. Hmm, it could be yesterday. Okay, yesterday. Very good. So um, we can construct sentences using the, that that uh, that structure. The passport, the I mean the object, remember that must be a person. Uh, uh, it's what um, what we talk in the sentence. Okay. Uh, who is the teacher. person that we are talking? Teacher. Okay, I oh, tell me. Teacher. Okay. I would rather you cried you, that exercise, please. You cried, okay? Would you cry with the exercise? Okay, yes, that, that, that's yes. a good example. But remember yes. that, that there is something missing. But it's there. not example, it's, a, <laughs> it's not example, this is true. Okay, but, but, okay, but check it out the sentence. I would rather uh, you cried we uh, we have to add always had okay had uh, because we're using here past perfect remember how we can construct past perfect ah using the verb had this word had i would rather okay you had cried okay you had cried less like uh, uh um what we preferred uh, the most than other things, or more than other things. Uh, then we have the structure of using would prefer, okay? When we use would prefer, uh, when the person himself expresses a preference on something referring to the present or future, we're going to use uh, would prefer. But check it out this structure. If we use would prefer, we are going to use the infinitive, okay? The infinitive of a verb plus another verb, okay? Um, <clears throat> well, or, or it could be a comparison about something. Um, it could be, I would prefer to watch two is the infinitive plus the verb, a, <clears throat> in this case is watch. I would prefer to watch TV rather than do shopping, okay? Rather than do shopping. Um, another example of it, okay, could be constructed by using um, <clears throat> using the, the, the infinitive verb, but adding the auxiliary, well, uh, uh, the verb have plus the past participle form of a verb. How we can construct that? And here we have a, an example. It says, I would prefer to have, check it out. If we use prefer, we are going to use the infinitive. And what is the infinitive? How, how we construct the infinitive? Ah, uh, just adding two at the beginning of the verb. Is it clear what I'm saying? Okay, um, just to, to make a, a, a review about it. If we use would rather, we're going to use 
um, the base form of the verb, okay? But if we use prefer, we are going to use the infinitive of those verbs. Is it clear what I'm saying? Hello, Mr. Ramirez, Ms. Campos, Mr. Castillo. In the last one, um, I'm kind of lost. In this I one? Mean, the principal, the, yeah, but in the principal part, using will prefer to have, it's fine to me, but we are going to use always to have been. Been, okay, been. In this case, we're going to be using uh, the past participle uh, verb uh, 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 well, remember that always, always, uh, we must add, uh, after using the, this kind of sentence, like we prefer, we must add after have a past participle. And what is the past participle? Well, what is the base form of this past participle? Do you know what is the base form of the verb been? The past participle of have been. Okay, been. What is the, 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 the base form? The base form of the verb been. In Spanish is haber estado. Okay, but in English, what is the base form of been? Mm, like was. Okay, was. Uh -huh, but the, the, the base form of that verb? Um, B. V, exactly. That's the base um, form of the verb, mm -hmm. been. So, because here we are talking about the, the verb to be, okay? In, in past, we identify that the verb it can be like was or were, but in past participle, what is the the, the form of, of the past participle of the verb to be? Um, being. Being, exactly. So, and in this case, we are using this, okay? The past participle form of a verb. Uh, and you can use different different uh, verbs, not just been. Uh, you can use another one. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be, I will prefer to have watching. Watch. That's the, the part I I don't know how to form, to have. Okay, if you say- it's in past. If you say- so if if you say, uh, huh? sorry, me, me to have what watch exactly that's that's the verb that we can use. Watch, check it out. Watch, what is the, the, the past participle? Oh, just adding ed. Because this is a, yes, this is a, a regular verb. Okay, this is a regular verb. So, regular verbs we just add ed. Mm -hmm. I would prefer to have a watch, okay? Or you can use another uh, um, verb. Could be like, um, um, well, Drunk. tell me, uh, mister? Mist? Drunk or drink. In the ah, okay. Drink, drunk, past practice. Okay, we can use. A drunk, okay, drunk, very good. Mm -hmm. Drunk, water. Give me a second, okay, give me a second. Okay, very good. Sorry, guys. Uh, I was I was drinking water. Uh, look, um, we can use that. We can use watch. We can use drunk. Uh, but in this case, the past participle of, of drink. I mean, the, the base form is drink. Uh, the past is drunk, and the past participle. Drunk. Drunk. Okay, drunk. You can choose another one. You can choose another one. 
could be regular, it could be irregular, mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, amazing. They're very good. Um, well, uh, also, when the person expresses a preference on someone else's action, referring to the present or future, uh, we can use would prefer. Okay, and here we have the, form the formula. It's a subject, would prefer, an object, okay, you already know what are, what are, what are those objects, to be like a, a pronoun or it could be a noun, but must be someone, that's mean a person. Uh, we have to use to the uh, to this uh, this word that becomes the verb an infinitive, okay? Because we're going to be using the verb. Um, in this case, is like I would prefer my son, the object, okay? My son, that's the object, to that is working as an infinitive plus the verb uh, live. Um, I would prefer my son to uh, live with me rather than live abroad. Uh, tell me, there is someone using. Hello? Okay, okay. Um, well, do you have any question? Till now, do you have any question, guys? Yes, teacher. I would like to know when is the final day to give all the exercise on the website because I receive a message that says that I have nothing done yet. I already oh. forgot, but oh, I thought we yeah. have two weeks. Yeah. To, the thing to, is, the, I don't know, deliver. Okay, the thing is uh, the following. Uh, it's supposed that you must finish at least section one, section two, and section three at the middle of the course. That's mean this coming uh, Thursday. Okay. Um, so you have to take the midterm this coming Thursday. It's supposed that you have already finished all those exercises and also you have already finished the midterm, okay? The midterm, it is intent, it, well, was created intent to um, uh, be like uh, the middle of the course. Uh, and it's supposed that during these two weeks, you have complete till uh, section number three, okay? So for that reason, you receive a message that you haven't complete anything yet. Um, it could be that way, but I don't know. You have been working something on the platform or, or you didn't? Yes, I did, but I left my computer, my computer on like sleeping. So when I open it, Again, everything oh. go back to zero because oh, okay. restart. But it, it doesn't matter. I can make it again. Okay. It, something that you have to check um, when you're working on the on the uh, on the website or on the platform, uh, um, you have to identify it that in, in the top of the uh, of the topics there, uh, you have a, a, a green check. Okay, if you have a green check, mm -hmm. that means you have complete that um, exercise. Okay. Okay, very good. Um, remember, you have to uh, be, uh, I mean, you have to solve the midterm this coming Thursday because uh, then we're going to be discussing just section four and section five. Uh, section four, we're going to be discussing the next week. In section five, we're going to be discussing the next week, okay? After this one, this coming. Okay. 
Okay. Then that means you have less than, well, let me see, you have okay. eight, nine sessions, okay, with me. You have nine sessions uh, it, that you have to attend this video conference. Oh, something that I don't know if you had friends uh, here uh, that haven't joined to this video conference, but I have to tell you something important that you must attend at least the 80% of the video conference. If you uh, do, um, if you don't have uh, the attendance for it, you won't get your certification, and you can you cannot pass you cannot go to the following level, uh, to the next level, okay? Because it is supposed that you have to uh, you need an eight in the platform, uh, and also you need uh, the eighty percent of attendance uh, in the video conference. I, I don't know if I uh, if I already mentioned uh, that, but if not, I'm telling you right now. Okay. Yes, you already mentioned it, but it's uh, okay. It's time to refresh. Okay. 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 Thank you, uh, Miss. Well, do you have any other question we can solve uh, right now? No, I don't think so. Okay, thank you, Miss. Uh, Mr. Ramirez? Um, I have a problem with so many exercises, but I'm going to share in the WhatsApp. Okay, very uh, good. Yes, I will be checking. Two, two. Okay, thanks. Very good. So uh, please try to send it uh, after this video conference, and, and I will be giving you a feedback. Okay, thanks. Okay, very good. Uh, Miss Campos? Yes, same. I share in the, the WhatsApp. The WhatsApp. Okay. okay, very good. Thank you, Miss. I will be answering there. Uh, Mr. Castillo? It's okay, teacher. It's a similar structure, only changing the um the verb in the past or in the present or present continuum you think the word you mean uh, about this topic or you mean uh, uh, one of the extras that we have in the platform in the platform i, I, I feel that the information three only uh, only have the and I don't remember in the in the first point the uh, item the short uh, I I don't know is it only the word and and, and they have the problem. You have a problem. So with I put that in the chat the, in the screen, but uh, I know. But in the in the different point in our field, all information. Okay, okay, Mister. Um, I couldn't I couldn't listen you well. I don't know what's happening, but uh, I understood what you said. Uh, something that you 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 mentioned about this is that uh, you have a problem with the platform and some of the exercises. If you have one uh, problem with the exercise, please let me know there in the WhatsApp group. If you already did, I will check the WhatsApp group uh, yeah. because I don't know why I didn't uh, reply your comment if you did. Uh, and if I haven't uh, say anything, if I haven't say anything, uh, I will give you a... a, a a feedback about the topic, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, something that I have. Okay, I always, oh, okay, very good, sir. Oh, I'm seeing your, your, well, the exercise that you sent, very good, I will check it uh, in a moment. Something that I have to mention is that you, you can, you can uh, take this uh, if you want. Uh, well, you can work the whole exercises. It doesn't matter if you finish in one week or two weeks, okay, or three weeks, 
or in, in, in five days, so it doesn't matter. If you finish all the exercise, it's good, you can do it. But remember to be um, attending the video conference uh, because if you want to take the final exam and, and you get an eight, uh, or if you get a 10, it's okay. Okay, it's you, can, you, can, you, can, you can work on it. Incendio. But, mister? It will be incendiar otra vez. Mister? <laughs> mister Castillo? Y el incendio es cerca. Ah? Va a estar uno que me ha dicho porque ya iba a salir. No sabía que se estaba quemando otra vez el mercado. I think, I think you are. Please close your mic. I think you're talking, you are like in a hole. Por Mr. la Castillo. once, me tengo que, tengo que ir a guardar. Uh, so sorry, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, just, just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just close your, your mic, so don't worry. Don't worry, sir, so don't worry. Uh, well, uh, I was telling you that you can finish all the, the whole uh, exercises uh, and then you can be attending the, the video conference. Uh, that's all for tonight, guys. And I will be, uh, uh, well, we're going to have the video conference tomorrow. And, to, uh, uh, and remember that you have to take the meter, at least the meter, okay? But if you can go uh, far in, in the platforms, it's up to you. Uh, well, blessings to all of you. Thank you so much for being here. And, and well, have a nice night. See you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Thank you. Nice. See Thank you, you blessings. Yes. Blessings to all of you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.